Welcome to a journey back to 1961, a year when the world was a different place, and cinema offered an escape into the delightful realm of come September. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a film that left an indelible mark on your life? Perhaps come September holds a special place in your heart, triggering cherished memories that have stood the test of time. As we explore this timeless classic, we invite you to reflect on your personal connection with the movie. Can you recall a moment when the narrative of Come September resonated with you, inspiring you or influencing your life in unexpected ways? Or is there a particular memory associated with this film that you hold dear? Before we dive into the fascinating details, we'd love to hear your stories and memories. What's your most cherished experience related to Come September? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's embark on this cinematic journey together. Now, let's unravel some intriguing facts about the movie that captivated audiences and left an enduring impact on the hearts of many. Italian authorities granted a censorship visa, number 35602, on September 14, 1961, for the movie Come September. This comedy film marked the feature film debut of Claudia Brack. The story revolves around spirited ladies who travel in a state-of-the-art Volkswagen van to the station. The film captures the essence of the early 60 seconds, blending humor with a touch of romance. Directed by Robert Mulligan, Come September is a classic that provides a glimpse into the cinematic landscape of its time. The Italian censorship visa and Claudia Brack's debut add interesting layers to the film's background. The use of a modern Volkswagen van for the ladies' journey also reflects the contemporary style of the era. These elements contribute to the movie's charm, and make it a notable piece from 1961, capturing the essence of that cinematic period. The casting choices for Come September stirred considerable interest during its production. Director Robert Mulligan extended an offer to the esteemed Lawrence Olivier for a co-starring role, highlighting the film's ambition to bring together top-tier talents. Additionally, comedian Shelley Berman was under consideration, though the prospect was hindered by his concert touring dates, posing a potential scheduling conflict. The behind-the-scenes dynamics of casting reveal intriguing alternate possibilities for the iconic characters of the film. Mulligan's pursuit of Olivier and consideration of Berman shed light on the deliberations that shaped the final ensemble. The film's narrative could have taken a different turn with the inclusion of such prominent figures, adding an extra layer of curiosity to the cinematic history of Come September. It's fascinating to imagine how Lawrence Olivier's presence might have influenced the on-screen dynamics or how Shelley Berman's comedic flair could have altered the film's tone. These casting insights offer a glimpse into the decision-making process that ultimately shaped the final composition of the movie. In the world of cinema, choices made off-screen can be as crucial as those captured on camera. Mulligan's casting decisions underscore the complexity of assembling the right ensemble for a film and how these choices contribute to the unique identity of a cinematic work. Rock Hudson, both an actor and producer of the 1961 film, Come September, faced a potential casting shakeup. News hinted at Tony Curtis stepping in for Hudson, but in the end, Hudson stuck with the project, maintaining his role and producer duties. Interestingly, the film's lead could have taken a different path, but Hudson's commitment prevailed. This casting twist sheds light on the dynamics behind the scenes, revealing the uncertainties that can accompany the making of a cinematic classic. The decision to retain Hudson had a lasting impact on the film's outcome shaping the narrative and contributing to the movie's enduring legacy. Choices made during production, like this casting decision, play a crucial role in defining the unique identity of a cinematic work, highlighting the intricate process of bringing a movie to life. As the movie unfolded, another noteworthy element emerged song multiplication, performed by Bobby Darin. Beyond its catchy tune, the song carried a risk double entendre meaning. Despite the potentially controversial lyrics, the censors overlooked certain aspects as the product code faced its decline. This subtle rebellion in the song's lyrics adds a layer of intrigue to Come September's soundtrack, showcasing the interplay between creativity and censorship in the early 60 seconds. Bobby Darin's choice to infuse the song with hidden meanings reflects the era's evolving cultural landscape, where artists found ways to push boundaries within the constraints of the time. 
Furthermore, the film delves into the realm of characters with the introduction of a major domo. In the context of Come September, this term refers to a person, typically male, in charge of a large household or retinue. The inclusion of such a character adds depth to the narrative, offering insights into the intricacies of the character's world. The major domo becomes a pivotal figure, influencing the dynamics within the storyline and contributing to the overall richness of the film. In conclusion, the twists in casting, the subtle defiance in song lyrics, and the introduction of a major domo all contribute to the multifaceted nature of Come September. Each element, from casting decisions to creative choices, weaves together to create a film that captures the essence of the early 60 seconds, blending humor, romance, and a touch of rebellion. Come September stands as a testament to the complexities involved in crafting a cinematic masterpiece, where every choice made off-screen plays a vital role in shaping the on-screen experience. In the early 1960s, the cinematic landscape witnessed a surge in films featuring middle-class vacationers exploring European locales. Come September, a notable piece from this era, embraced this trend. Set against the backdrop of Italy, the movie encapsulated the post-war fascination with European travel. The choice of location added a layer of exoticism, showcasing the allure of foreign destinations for the burgeoning middle-class audience. Amidst the film's charm, a dance number at a local club stands out. Interestingly, it might have drawn inspiration from the Mambo scene in West Side Story, a film released the same year as Come September. This connection provides a fascinating glimpse into the cross-pollination of ideas within the cinematic landscape of the early 60 seconds, where trends and influences seamlessly transcended individual productions. Conrad Hilton, the founder of the renowned hotel chain, also makes a notable appearance in Come September. Hailing from New Mexico and a former politician, Hilton's presence adds an intriguing layer to the film. The mention of his name serves as a nod to a real-life figure, connecting the cinematic narrative to broader aspects of society and culture. In conclusion, Come September not only captures the spirit of post-war European exploration, but also reflects the era's cinematic interplay of inspiration and real-world references. The film's choice of setting, dance sequences, and inclusion of notable figures contribute to its multifaceted nature, offering viewers a captivating journey through the lens of 1961 cinema. As we bid adieu to the delightful cinematic journey we've embarked upon, let the echoes of Come September linger in the corridors of your memories. The charm of this timeless gem, much like a cherished melody, has a way of weaving itself into the fabric of our experiences. As you reflect on the character's escapades, the scenic backdrop, and the subtle nuances that define this cinematic masterpiece, consider the resonance it holds in the tapestry of your own life. Perhaps it's a faint recollection of watching it with loved ones on a lazy Sunday afternoon or stumbling upon its magic during a serendipitous movie night. Whatever the case, come September, with its wit and warmth, has the power to evoke a myriad of emotions and memories. So, take a moment to delve into your personal connection with this cinematic treasure. What scenes made you laugh uncontrollably? Which moments tugged at the strings of your heart? Share your reflections, your musings, and your favorite fragments of this enchanting tale. Let's celebrate the shared experience of cinematic wonder, and in doing so, amplify the beauty that lies in our unique perspectives. Your thoughts are the threads that enrich the fabric of our communal appreciation for this film. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic excursion with us. Your time and thoughts are cherished, and we look forward to weaving more cinematic tales together in the future. Until then, let the spirit of Come September linger, and may your memories of it continue to dance in the light of your recollections.